today I'm going to share four quick and easy methods for removing burn marks from your iron, like this one here, and I'm also going to warn you of a couple of methods I would never try. So you might be wondering what this residue that builds up on your iron actually is. In fact, what it is, is fibres from your clothes where you're either ironing clothes too hot or on the wrong setting for the type of material, and slowly it starts to build this kind of film over your iron. Now the worst thing about this is, is that then when you go to iron future garments, this actually transfers onto your clothes. Not such a problem if you're ironing, say, a black jumper, but I think we've all been there when we've tried to iron a white shirt and suddenly we see these black marks that are actually coming from our iron. So we need to deal with this issue pronto. First up, we've got our trusty dishwasher tablet. Now, we're just going to remove the PVA from the outside of this so that we can access the ingredients. Take your dishwasher tablet and rub it against the surface of a warm iron and you can see the residue start to come away. This seems to work better the hotter the iron, but I'm showing it on a slightly cooler iron to show that it works in theory. If you are trying it on a hot iron, then take care and consider using a dexterous oven glove to protect your hand. Don't forget to wipe the residue away with a cloth once it has loosened. So the dishwasher tablet method was pretty quick and easy. However, you might find that it takes more than one tablet to clean your whole iron surface, but you can see the progress that we made. Next up, we're going to try the paracetamol method. So you need a paracetamol tablet rather than a capsule like this. Now, some people show themselves actually rubbing this straight onto a warm iron, which is best avoided because you obviously don't want to burn yourself. However, we've got some pliers and we're gonna use this method. So just rub the paracetamol gently. <laughs> which is a little bit of non-gel toothpaste onto a cloth and then rub it onto the warm iron. So you can also try this method on a cold iron. Toothpaste is abrasive which helps to lift the scorch marks but it takes a bit more elbow grease than the previous two methods. This method works quite well where there's just a light build-up but it does struggle where there's a thicker build-up of fibres. The final method that I'm going to show you is the tin foil method where you take a piece of tin foil, scrunch it up in a ball, and then just use the abrasive nature of this to gently scrub away at your iron. Now this one, to be honest, I wouldn't bother trying unless you didn't have any of those other options available. But I'll show you how we get on. Once again, like with the toothpaste, the tin foil works okay if you've just got a light buildup of fibres, but it does struggle to cut through the thicker marks. So this is very, very slowly making a bit of a dent on the burnt mark that we've got here, but I think it's going to take a long time and a lot of elbow grease to actually remove this completely. So I think your other three options are going to be a lot quicker and easier. So there we have four quick-ish and easy hacks for cleaning your iron. I think the obvious winner was the paracetamol, closely followed by the dishwasher tablets and then the toothpaste and the tin foil. The paracetamol, especially because it's super cheap, isn't it? So you can get a packet of those for pence and uh, you can use the whole packet if you need to. So definitely make sure you've got some of them in your cleaning cupboard. Um, I did promise as well to mention a couple of methods that personally I wouldn't try. Now, it wouldn't be a cleaning video if we didn't have a little bit of baking soda and vinegar because these crop up everywhere for cleaning jobs. However, when you use to clean your iron, first of all, it's quite labour intensive. You've got to mix up a paste and so on. Um, so it's not the quickest and easiest method at all. Also, you can end up getting all the gloop and everything else actually penetrating your iron and going inside. Then when you go to iron something and use the steam function, that then comes out onto your clothes and you've got to put them in the wash. So that is not what I'm looking for when I'm ironing, I have to say. The other method that I wouldn't try, which is demonstrated actually quite frequently on the internet, is using this, which is nail polish remover and some uh, cotton pads. Now, I think the thing people forget about nail polish remover is this is actually quite a harsh chemical acetone. It's got all sorts of safety warnings on the back and it's flammable. So combining it with heat is definitely not a good idea. Save that for your nails, use it carefully, store it out of reach of kids. It's really not something to play around with. So I wouldn't introduce it into your cleaning uh, schedule personally. 
That's all for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and share it and like and subscribe and come back soon. I post lots of home hacks, cleaning hacks and that kind of content. And uh, if you've got any tips of your own to add or any experiences, please do pop them in the comments down below. Thank you.